What is happening Crocodile? My name is Dre and welcome back to another video. And on today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what I think might just be the best basic hoodie you can get right now, especially for the price. And of course, I am talking about the MNLA Thumbhole Hoodie. Now, if you follow me on my Instagram, then you've already seen an outfit photo that I did with this hoodie. You can see it right here. And of course, my Instagram is at Just Plain Drain. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, Shimon, man, follow me on my Instagram. And of course, as always, there will be a link in the description box below as well. And also, while we're at it, if you're not subscribed yet, Shimon, man, why aren't you subscribed yet? Scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and also click that little notification bell so you can be updated every time I upload a new video. And of course, so you can be a part of the Crocodile Squad. What? Crocodile Squad! So with all that being said, let's get into it. Now quickly, when it comes to colorway, this does come in a couple of different colors and also does come in some patterns as well. Of course, my personal favorite are the plain basic colors, but obviously, as you can see right here, I did go with this deep, very nice, saturated scarlet red color. I'm just really happy with the shade of red fabric that they chose for this hoodie. Now, speaking of the fabric and material, this is a custom brush terry that they came up with for this hoodie. And let me tell you right now, putting this thing on, it's super comfortable to the skin. I love putting this hoodie on. Definitely one of the reasons why I love this hoodie so much. Now, in terms of quality, it definitely does feel like a good quality fabric, and it is on the thicker side. It is a 400 GSM fabric here, so it is a little bit on the warmer side because it is a thicker fabric, but nothing all too bad. I mean, I live in the Philippines, and it works pretty all right for me. Now, taking a look at the design of this piece, I absolutely love it. Honestly, it's the first thing that really caught my eye and really drew me to this piece when I first saw it on their Instagram. First off, it does feature drop shoulders, so it definitely does fit that very oversized look and fit, which y'all know I love, especially for hoodies and sweaters. Of course, I really do much prefer oversized fits not only because I think they look cooler but also I just think they're more comfortable that way and the other main design piece that really did catch my eye was the pocket on the side of the arm it's just something that looked really unique to me and I thought it looked really really cool and something that I didn't really see in a lot of other pieces or other hoodies and sweaters that is now will I ever use it as an actual pocket and really put stuff in there I don't know but honestly I just really love it as a design aspect and I love the look of it definitely does give me some high fashion vibes which y'all know I really do like and yeah generally I just think it looks cool and of course this is called a thumbhole hoodie so let's take a look at the thumbhole feature as you can see right here I think it's done really well it's done in a relatively subtle way and again like I said before you can't really tell that it's there unless you're using the feature or if you're looking for the thumb holes themselves which I think is a great way of doing it because again if you don't really like the thumbhole idea then you don't have to use it but if you do like it then it's a nice feature to have and a good option to have for styling now quickly I do want to talk about the hood here it is an oversized hood I think it fits pretty well but do note that because again like I said the hoodie is made out of a 400 GSM brush Terry it is made out of that same thicker material so although you can get it for the most part sitting nicely it can sometimes just kind of lump up and if you have longer hair it will push up on your hair just a little bit but I mean it's not really that much of a con really it's just something that I notice and for you guys who have longer hair like me just an interesting little observation on my part of course now it's finally time to take a look at the overall Fit. Now off the bat, I do want to talk about my point of view on the different kinds of oversized fits. To me, there are two different spectrums of oversized, one of which is a little bit shorter in the body and definitely a lot wider and a lot boxier in terms of fit, almost a slightly cropped kind of look. And then there's the one that's still nicely oversized, but leans just a little bit towards the slimmer side. And personally, I really like both. They both definitely serve different purposes and different styles and different outfits. And I do dabble in both. The thing is though, that kind of oversized that leans a little bit towards the slimmer side is the one that more often than not gets done wrong where it's oversized and width wise but it's just way too long almost a dress so that's just that's not what you want in an oversized piece even on the slimmer kind of style of oversized and I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about you do see this a lot in a lot of high street brands I'm looking at you Zara men's but yeah, the main reason why I'm talking about this is because the MNLA Thumbhole Hoodie does fit in the category of oversized that leans just a little bit towards the slimmer side, but the MNLA Hoodie, I think, is a great example of how to do it right. I think the execution on the fit of this hoodie is amazing, a nice oversized fit on the body, and the sleeves as well are nice and wide and baggy and fits really well with the oversized fit of the body. And speaking of the sleeves, they are a little bit longer than the body, which I definitely do like and definitely does work really well with the proportions of the overall hoodie here. Now, from a personal preference, standpoint. I think it would have been cool if it was a little bit more oversized or a little bit wider so you can get that more square, even boxier look. But again, like I said, I still really do like how oversized this piece is. And I think the dimensions work perfectly well for what they were going for. Now for reference, I did get the size large and the measurements for that is 25 inches for the width and 28 inches for the length. And height wise, I am 5'8". So this is how it fits on me. So overall, do I recommend this hoodie? Well, if it wasn't obvious yet, 100% yes. It's got really good quality materials, really cool and unique design aspects. Not to mention it's also really comfortable to wear and really for the price which is 1,370 pesos which goes for around 30 or so dollars a little bit under 30 dollars 
I think this is a fantastic deal. And again, really what I think to be one of, if not the best basic hoodie you can get right now. And really, again, not only is it a great basic hoodie, but the overall fit and its unique design aspects like the thumb holes and the pocket on the side, I think differentiates it and makes it really unique compared to every other basic hoodie you can get right now. And that about does it for my review on the MNLA thumb hole hoodie. I hope you guys liked the video and I hope you guys found it helpful. And I hope I was able to give you guys some ideas or some insights on whether or not this hoodie is something you want to pick up. Now, if you did like the video, then definitely do head down there and smack that like button. It really does help me out a lot. And of course, I'm not just saying that. It really does help me out a lot when it comes to the YouTube algorithm. So scroll down below and click that like button. If you know anybody else who'd like this video or generally just my stuff, your brother, your sister, your lola, your lola, your tita, your tita, or anybody else who you think would like my stuff, then definitely do share it to them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay creative. Keep making it until next time. See you later, crocodile. Whew.